So now we're going to talk about how to preheat the S7X. Today we're just going to start by selecting a manual roasting profile. The roaster will then initialize and preheat. Once you start the preheating process, for 45 seconds, the machine will open the door and run just in case there's anything inside. Then the door will close for the chute and start the preheating process. Then we have what's on this screen right here. First, you can see the name of the profile and what sort of mode it's going to be running in. Then we have our target internal temperature, which you can modify up or down to suit. Here you see the percentage of how close it is to that target internal temperature. We can see this through both the beam surface, drum surface, and hot air sensors, and how ready they are to start roasting. After that, we have our initial settings, which we can modify and change to suit your roast profile. Next, the start button, where you can start your roast. And lastly, the reference settings, where you're able to set a profile as a reference and a guide so you can follow that curve. In our reference settings screen, we have here the first part, the guide. Now this is a really cool feature. If you click the plus button, then on this time function, you see time, temperature, and point. Here you can allocate either a phase or a duration and call it, for example, drying phase or your Maillard phase or your caramelization phase, temperature, so you can select a band of temperatures that you want to hit all the way across the time. Or you can specify an exact point where you want the exact temperature at that time to be. For example, a first crack or an end temperature. So let's set a time guide. I want to say for the first four minutes that we're going to have a drying phase. Now we see here in that first four minutes we have a guide that this is our drying phase. So now I'm going to set a temperature range. In the guide, we're gonna do 40 degrees, which is the minimum, up to 140. We're gonna call this our drying temperatures. Lastly, maybe I wanna put a point in where I think first crack should be for this profile. So we're going to add our point. This should be at nine minutes and it should be at 171 degrees on our internal temperature. First crack. And here you see our point here of exactly where this should be. If you ever wanted to remove some of these, all you have to do is hit delete and you'll see that that point is gone. And if you want to remove these guides altogether, you can simply press reset. If you want to add a full curve as a reference, you can click on this folder icon and we can see here our history of our profiles. I'm going to take a profile that I did recently and that's going to load up here. You're able to see all of the initial settings that you had and follow the curves as if you were roasting that one. To exit this screen, you simply press on the reference setting again and you'll come back to this one. If you want to name your profile, you simply press this button here on the top right, just below the cooling icon, and you can edit all of the profile information. For this profile name, I'm going to simply call it demonstration. If you'd like, you can name the green bean. For example, this one is a washed Ethiopian. The input amount is 500 grams. If you have any notes that you want to put on this, the degree of roasting, and if you would like to put it in a particular folder. Yeah. 
You can press OK to take you back to the preheating menu and wait for the roaster to be ready. Here you can change the target internal temperature. You can either adjust it up or down with the arrows or you can tap on the number and input exactly what you would like straight away. The machine will then start to heat or cool appropriately to get to that desired temperature. So down here, we're able to edit our initial settings or the settings at the start of roasting, which don't actually impact how the roaster is preheating. You can modify the hot air from zero to 10, the halogen from zero to 10, the drum heater from 0.5 all the way up to 10. But if you go over five, you'll see that you get this warning, which simply lets you know that running it for a long time isn't so good for the quality of that drum heater. So it's better to use a lower setting. And we can change our bean agitation from one to 10. This is how fast we're going to be spinning that. Once you're happy with your settings, you can simply press OK and it looks like we're ready to roast.